guys, your friend Carrie here from Tiffin Carrie, and I'm back with another Ipsy review. This is May's Glam Bag. First, I should start off with what Ipsy is. An Ipsy is a subscription service where you pay $10 a month and you receive a bag filled with four to five sample beauty products. That can be hair products, makeup, lotions, nail polish, you name it. Uh, let's get started. I can see what products are coming to me because Ipsy allows me to see them prior to shipping. So I already know what's coming, but even so, it just makes me more excited for my bag to actually arrive. Um, it comes in this pretty pink bubble wrap uh, package, and today it even came wrapped in tissue paper. So let's open it up. This bag is super cute. It's got ice cream and popsicles all over it. It's clear and it's kind of made out of the material that you would make an inflatable pool toy out of. So let's see what's inside. A hemp's lotion, an angled brush. It's a uh, Royal and Lang nickel brand. Looks like an eyeshadow palette. It's wrapped in bubble wrap, but I'll unwrap that here. Let's see what the colors are real quick. Nice neutral shades. Perfect. A bronzer and highlighter duo. And a lipstick. So as you can see, my face has nothing on it. It might have a little bit of eyeliner, to be honest, because I just got home from work. I washed all the makeup off of my face. Um, however, sometimes a little eyeliner stays there. You know, to give a full review, I like to use the products and tell you what I think of them, not just tell you how pretty the packaging is. You know what I mean? So first, let's start off with this Hemp's lotion. I'm just going to use it on my hands. So the scent is pomegranate. I'll put a little bit on my hands here. Just a pea-sized amount, and I'll rub it in. It smells really good. It's just a body moisturizer. It, I wouldn't use it on my face. It's not a face moisturizer. It smells really fruity, like pomegranates. Um, my fingers are not sticky, and I just put it on. Rubbed in right away. I definitely will use this again. I really like it. My hands aren't oily. They're not greasy. I feel like I could turn a doorknob with them, and the doorknob wouldn't slip. I feel like I could go open up a jar easily because there's just no grease. So I'm really happy with that. Manicadar, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's a bronzer and highlighter duo. I'm gonna get out one of my blush brushes. It's a crown brush. First, I will put a little bit of bronzer on. very dark bronzer for me. I'm not putting much on my brush either. So it gives me a nice sun kissed glow there. And I'm gonna get out the smaller brush that I have for this highlighter here. Now I gotta be honest, I don't really know how to use highlighter and I don't even really know how to use bronzer. I just put it on my cheeks and hope that it looks all right. How's that? Do I look like I've got nice highlighted cheeks? I don't really know where else to put highlighter. On your nose, like under your eyes, above your bronzer. Okay, here's my opinion on this. It's not bad. I think the color is a little dark for me. I don't, it kind of makes me look orangey in the screen here, but I think it's a little dark. I don't think I put too much on. I think it's just a darker bronzer for me. Um, normally, I'll show you. My normal bronzer is this color, and look how dark that is. Pacifica eyeshadow palette. I really like the looks of this. It's kind of cute. For my base and for most of the colors, I'm just gonna use the sponge that comes with it. And then once I get to like my smoky eye look, I'll use this angled brush that I got in my, in my bag. So first I'll just apply this. Okay, so I've got my base layer on, and I used this light color here, 
and then I put a little bit of the peach in the in the corners of my eyes. Now I'm going to use probably this darkest color here. I'll use it with this angled brush and I'll create a smoky look. Hopefully. Not too shabby. For being such a dark color, I imagine it to go on very dark, um, but it's not too bad, actually. I'm quite surprised. Um, I really like to use angled brushes, especially when I'm doing this smoky corner here. I just feel like it does the best job. You know, I know that each brush has a purpose, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. So this is the job that I gave it, to do my smoky eye, and it did a great job. Now I'm just gonna finish out my eye, because I like to put a little mascara and eyeliner on. What do I think of this eyeshadow? It's pretty good. It kind of clumped up a little bit when I was using the sponge applicator, but it did just fine with my brush. One thing I really like about it is that it says it's 100% vegan and, one, and it's cruelty free. The container, it's cute. It's got a nice, a nice beachy theme, plus it's called Pacifica Island Life. The shades are Skinny Dip, Coral Sand, Golden, Treasure, and Sandalwood. The last item I'm going to review is this Mellow Lipstick. The color is called Posh. It's a matte lipstick also. Well, that's the color. Nice and neutral there. So there it is. Surprisingly, I actually like this color. I didn't think that I was going to because when I first applied it, I thought, man, this is really going to wash my lips out with my face. But I think it's a nice neutral shade. It doesn't stand out too much. It's just this whole bag gives me a nice summery feel. And I know that was the point of it because of the bag that it came in. So I think that Ipsy nailed it right on the head for my Ipsy bag this month. You know, but one thing that I do like about the Ipsy is if you don't like a product that you receive, you can rate it in an Ipsy app. You can go online and review it. And then if you don't like that color or you don't like that brand or you just don't like the type of product they send you, you can tell them that and then they try to customize your bag to send you more goodies that you like. So I don't really use a lot of face moisturizer. So when I get face moisturizer, I say, hey, I don't really use this product. I've been receiving less of them, but I love new brushes. I needed new brushes. So I said, hey, I love brushes. And now I've got like 15 new brushes over the course of two years from Ipsy. If you go in and you tell them an, an honest review, then you will start getting products that you love every month. If you guys are interested in Ipsy, I'm going to drop the link below for you to check it out for yourself. You go in, you take a quick survey about what your style is like, if you like neutral colors, bold colors, and then it's $10 a month and you can cancel at any time. That's all I've got for you today. Let me know if you like this review by giving me a thumbs up or subscribing or sharing with your friends. Uh, again, my name is Carrie from Tiffin Carrie, and I will catch you on the flippity. All right, well, thanks for watching us, guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah, and as always, please subscribe, like, comment, share. Yeah, we really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Yeah, thanks again, guys. Thanks so much. Catch you on the flippity.